number 10 is the story behind The Alex Show, a 90-minute program featuring Alex Bellin, who performed at the Criterion Theater for his 80th birthday. Zipping in at number 9, another senior who's proving age is just a number. Florence Beheimer celebrated her 92nd birthday with a bucket list dream of zip lining. I'm so blessed and I am one of the luckiest women in the world. Pets displaced by California's deadliest wildfire found new homes in Medford. Their chance for a new leash on life comes in at number eight. At number seven was the news that Chick-fil-A is opening in Medford come early 2020. Construction has already started on Ross Anley Drive. Then Rogue Valley Company making history rolls in at number six. We wrap the wheel in organic biodynamic Syrah grape leaves. Rogue Creamery's Rogue River Blue Cheese won the World Cheese Award in Italy, becoming the first American company to do so. And from Blue Cheese to Blue's Brother. At number five was the story of Johnny Wheels, an Oregon blues musician who got the chance to play next to Dan Aykroyd and Jim Belushi. Belushi hosting a party turned fundraiser for Johnny to buy a new wheelchair friendly van. Overwhelming, made me cry. A major motion picture directed by a South Medford alum comes in at number four. Five Feet Apart hit theaters in March, produced and directed by Jane the Virgin star, Justin Baldoni. A Klamath Falls woman got a life-altering cancer diagnosis 19 years ago. For brain tumors, it's about the worst of the worst. Doctors gave her one year to live, but she's still here and fighting. Her inspiring story came in at number three. Oh, thank you. I'm so afraid to lose them all. A local couple stepping up on a frigid February night to buy out a hotel for the homeless. It was our second most viewed story of 2019. The incredible act of kindness set off a snowball of generosity that eventually led to getting this little boy and his dad off the streets. Totally excited. <laughs> Very so. And our most viewed feel-good story of the year was the announcement Macklemore was putting on a free concert. The rapper performed at the Jackson County Expo in October, and thousands waited in line at various giveaways for a chance to snag tickets. That's your good news of 2019. For NBC5 News, I'm Christina Zagami.